Rowdy Rodney Rescott wants the green flag fly and we are away. Charging a turn number one, Paul Gelardi's gonna grab that early race lead. They jam it up tight in turn number two, midway back in the pack. Everybody's okay. We see Brett the Threat out against the wall, but he's all right. We come on around through the West End for the first time through, completing lap number one, side to side battle up in front. Mark Johnson nosing out ahead of Paul Gelardi. Johnson down low, Paul Gelardi up high. It's gonna be Mark Johnson, the SNS asphalt paving number nine. Going to the front of the field here. And now Johnson will have a bit of breathing room before he catches the next car in lap traffic ahead. So Johnson on cruise control at the head of the field. Kyle Sheldon in that second place spot. We've got one car rolling slowly here in front. We'll come to a stop. It's Brian Berger's 60 machine. Comes to a standstill directly right here in front after a good top five run he had going. That's the race for fourth. Look at J.R. Hefter. What does he scramble off a of turn number two down the back straightaway? Up on the high side. Hefter has it going upstairs. It's J.R. Hefter up high. Keith Flack down low. Both applying pressure to Paul Gelardi. Gelardi trying to hang on to the spot. They look to go high. They look to go low. J.R. Hefter now the against the wall he's okay there Paul Gelardi the meat of the sandwich for a second right in the middle there he is again in the middle Flack low Hefner high Gelardi in the middle contact here in front Keith Flack gets by with the contact one more time around the valley of speed here for the SNS asphalt paving 9J machine Checkered flags coming out, double checkered flags, and the wind goes to the SNS asphalt paving 9G machine. The White Knight, Mark Johnson, gets it done. In the victory lane for the first time in this 2022 season, Mark Johnson. Mark, congratulations. Speaking of boomers, there's Brian Bedell into victory lane.